Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Big Hand Assistance. Double click the Big Hand Professional icon to launch Big Hand. Enter your email address and your newly created Big Hand password. And then click OK or hit Enter. On the left hand side you'll see your folder structure. Any dictations within the selected folder will appear over on the right hand side. To configure your device, go to Tools and then Options. Under Playback, click the Preferred Device drop down. Select the default audio device for your PC. Click the playback button to check your playback volume. Ensure that both your master and playback volumes are both turned up. Then click OK. Now select the control tab. Click the control device drop down. Select the device you use to control playback. If you're using a VEC Infinity device, select the control device drop down, but select HID control device within the menu. Then click the device model drop down and select VEC Infinity. Once you've selected your device, click OK. Big Hand will need restarting for the changes to take effect, so click OK. And then close down Big Hand. Double click the icon to relaunch Big Hand. Enter your email address and Big Hand password as before. This time, select the Remember Login Details box if you want Big Hand to remember your credentials. Then click OK or hit Enter. To open the dictation, double click on it. The Big Hand player opens and the dictation will change to In Progress, meaning this dictation is locked to others. Play the dictation by using your foot pedal or by clicking this play button. The blue lines at the bottom show the playback volume. Your foot pedal or this button will stop dictation playback. The same goes for fast forward and rewind. This button will skip to the beginning of the dictation. Any files attached to the dictation will appear here. To attach another file to the dictation, select Attach. Navigate to the file you want to attach and double click. Your new attachment is added down here. This symbol denotes that a bookmark has been attached. The bookmark title appears here. Double click the bookmark to open it. A details box will open and allow you to view the details of the bookmark. Click OK to close. Alternatively, 
Select the Details button to turn on the Details bar. The Details bar will sit over other applications, such as Microsoft Word. This will allow you to see where you are in a dictation without having to have the recorder window open in front of it. The details bar will expand when you get to a bookmark. You can hide and show the details of a bookmark as needed. Select the details button again to turn off the details bar. To add your own bookmarks to the dictation, first navigate to the position you wish to add at. Then select Add. Give it a quick title and include any details in the notes field underneath. Click OK to add the bookmark. You can see the bookmark has been added here. You can remove, edit and skip between bookmarks using these buttons. When you've finished working on a dictation, you'll need to modify its status. Selecting pending will allow others to open and edit the dictation. Selecting In Progress will lock this dictation to others so that only you can work on it. Selecting Complete will mark the dictation complete, showing others it has been finished. Close the dictation to save all the changes you've made. This icon shows the dictation status, along with others showing priorities and attachments. Completed dictations will periodically be moved into your Completed Items folder. You can now work through your list of dictations. It's as easy as Open, Playback and Transcribe, Mark complete and close to save.